Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to take a look at SharePoint lists, its forms and columns. So basically this video is for business users who wish to manage their data into SharePoint lists but still want to customize a bit their form so that the form fields can look better and a bit of business logics or business rules can also be applied. So this is video is targeted for those users. So I'm just taking an example of my this product sales list where I am having few columns that is title, product type and I have that uh, type categories so printer, laptop, television and price per item, quantity sold, sold in month. So if I just open the form in SharePoint list then it will just give me an area like title, product type so everything is linear and I have these product types laptop, printer, television and uh, basically like if I just select the laptop type so my printer and laptop the other television type should be actually move uh, should be hidden so that only a related product type should be available so this kind of business rules we are going to apply to this form and as well as uh, we are going to change a bit the look and feel of this form so that it can look a bit prettier using format JSONs. So this is the target of I'll just guide you how you can you can do that. You can apply header to your this form. You can split the columns into two, three, and as well as you can apply the rule for hiding and showing the field based on the uh, parent field selected. So when product type is selected, the related product type should only be visible. So if I'm selecting printer, then printer type column should be there, laptop type and the other type should be hidden. So these are kind of uh, uh, business rules we are going to apply so let's work on it so I am going to this new button opening the form and at the top right you can see I have this three options added columns configure layout and customize with power apps so we are not going to use customize with power apps because power apps does comes with its own license so probably you may not want to incur that cost so we will be just formatting our form over using this configure layout by default feature so when i click on it it give me three options apply formatting to header body and footer so this header like whatever formatting style i would apply so it will be applied over here at the top of the form and this body would be like restructuring your form into multiple columns as well as the sections so that we can do and we have this footer and the footer styling would be applied at the bottom of this page and as well as we can hide the columns from the page and permanently and based on some rules as well so we are going to take a look on that so let's start with customizing the header so i am just going to put one sample json into this header field and i am going to paste or give this sample json uh, file uh, to you as well so if you can directly like put it up so what it consists of it's having element type and then the children element is div and we are just applying this style over here in this div and as well as I am going to apply the styling for this inside div like which is the inner div and we'll write the content as product sales and the title will be picked from my this uh, title of this uh, item so this I'm going to paste and I will share this header uh, JSON directly with you guys and so that you can directly start working with without uh, I mean thinking about the hierarchy the element I have div and the child nested children you can directly work on it so I'll just share this and so you see we have this icon implemented we have this product sales if I just type anything over here it will start coming appearing up in the header so that's how you can use the header and I'll directly go to the body I can split the my form in which is right now in a sequential fashion I can split into form, uh, columns and as well as divide that into sections so I have just created one body JSON where I'll just show you where I have decided like what column should fall under which section so this first section would be my product information so it will just show the it will just show the title like what what field should be displayed in the first section so I have this title product type printer type and television type and laptop type 
so these are my display names so if you see like these are the display names of my these columns so these are not internal names you need to like uh, write what is being displayed over here and in the second section you need to type you need to create the sales details so because we want to split our form into two sections and i'll just scroll down and then copy the columns related to this sales details so i'll just say price per item so this is my column name over here quantity sold so i say quantity sold and sold in month so i'll say sold in month sold in month and i'll just copy this and go to this body formatting from this drop down paste it you can preview that and once you save it it will start taking the your body like whatever formatting we have decided product information which has these five columns sales details information which is having the sales information right so now the form is pretty much structured we have two column layout we have sections in our form so we did header and body now comes the part where like we are going to show and hide the fields based on the business rules so this product type laptop printer television so their respective field should be shown and the rest of the two should be hidden so this business rules we are going to modify using this added columns so if i click on this added columns at the top so it right now is giving me these columns as enabled you can see but now i am going to write something on printer type so that my this printer type should only be visible when the product type selected one is related to printer so i'll just go to this three dots add added conditional formula over here i need to paste the formula so i'm i'll just copy that from notepad and will guide you how the formula is being written i just pasted the formula over here you can see this product type which is my column so now over here just just be cautious this is not display name of my field it's internal name of my field so if the product type is laptop then sorry not a laptop so product type is printer then this printer should be this printer type field should be enabled and otherwise it should be disabled so as soon as i save it it grade that out what that means is like it's having some business rules tied to it and we are going to do the same thing for our laptop type where i just copy the same formula and say laptop so laptop would be visible when product type is laptop and the television would be visible when the product type is television So we have created this business rules for our form and now I'm going to save it and close it and go to my new form again. So now you see in my form I have just title and product type. There are other fields which are hidden now. So as soon as I select laptop, so it shows me laptop. If I select printer, so my printer type would be appearing up. Television, I can pick the television from the respective type. So these these business small business rule what should be hidden like uh, based on some conditions. So these thing we can tie it up at the column level. And when I say like uh, we are tying up that column level, so that means like we are enabling our party power users or business users to write or to build their form by themselves. So they can modify, beautify their form rather than having the plain SharePoint form, out of the box form. They can bind the business rules on their fields what column should be visible and can very well split that into sections so now like after this if any uh, complex logic comes in then the picture of developer comes in place but as soon as like we have this sort of requirement sometimes like it's 90 percent of the time we are having this uh, standard requirements just creating a beautiful form and then uh, binding the business rules if that is there then no need to go for the development just do that with the some styling some configuration stuff so this is the intent of this video so probably like if you like it please do subscribe and drop your comment and if you need uh, these additional help on the json files i'll be very happy to share these json files directly with you so that you can directly start working to this form so that's it for today thank you